Hello everyone! In this video, we will show the features and the configurations of an Odoo module joint calendar, which was created by FAO Tools. Joint calendar is an Odoo tool which allows combining different Odoo events in one or a few configurable super calendar. Odoo users often need to keep in mind a lot of details spread out among numerous interfaces. Switching between those is not comfortable for planning. The tool solves the problem. The app lets configure rules to join and share various document types on a single super calendar view, but with easy reachable source objects. Let's start with configuring an auto shared calendar. As I said, the tool might merge any auto document type on the same view opportunities, meetings, activities, sale or purchase orders, and so on. You can configure as many calendars as you need. According to the company's needs, you can combine all required documents into one calendar or divide them logically into several ones. For example, you can create a calendar various calendars for all documents. Or you can create a sales calendar, which will include everything that relates to sales. To create a calendar, open the Events app and click Configuration – Calendars in the Sys tray. Then click Create. Introduce the title, for example, Various Calendars. Optionally, you can assign a company to our calendar. Click at the line to add some rules. Choose the rules and click Select. When you add rules to the calendar, you specify which model should be presented in it. This allows keeping rules logically divided in several calendars and conveniently switch between them, so the calendar will not be overloaded. We will talk about it a little bit later. Go to the tab Settings and find the option Active menu. If it's turned on, the entry for this calendar will be available under the menu events. Otherwise, the calendar will not be shown and you will not be able to access it. It is useful when you no longer need a calendar, but don't want to delete it yet, as it still might be useful later. In case you have the add-on joint calendar Gantt view, you can turn it on in this tab. We will talk about it later. Optionally, add the sequence. It defines the order in which the calendars are displayed in the sys tray. The calendar which goes the first has a lower sequence, so the calendar with sequence 20 will be displayed before the calendar with sequence 50. It can also be negative or zero. For each calendar, you can set access rights. The calendar may be either public, seen by everyone, or private, seen by particular user groups. It is possible to add as many groups as necessary. It might be useful if you want to create a calendar for a particular department or team, so they will be able to control the related events. For example, let's choose Administration, Access Rights, Inventory, Project, Purchase and Sales. It is also possible to set limitations to make events update faster and consume system resources efficiently. For that, tick the box time limits and set days before and days after, so only events within this time range will be shown in the calendar. By default, the events are shown 10 days before the event and 30 days after. For example, if you have a task fix the sync for the 30th of March and today is the 15th of March, the task will not be shown on the calendar. However, in 5 days it will appear, as it is set to show events 10 days before. And the event will stay on the calendar till the 29th of April. If you remove the tick from the box time limits, then the events for all time will be shown. Set the alarms to be warned before an event starts. You can either set an alarm to the automatically created events, or set an alarm manually to a particular event. It is possible to add more than just one alarm. Let's choose notifications one day before and notification 30 minutes before. Joint Calendar uses standard Adobe Calendar reminders to alarm users. 
There are three ways to notify users through the standard Odoo pop-up notification, by an email, and by an SMS. It is possible to choose the preset timing of an alarm or create another one. To create a new alarm, start typing its title and click Create and Edit. There you can specify the type of the alarm, its template, and the time before the event when you should receive the alarm. Then click Save and Close. Then you can click Save manually. The calendar will appear in the sys tray after reloading the page. And here it is. To generate the events in the calendar, we also need to click the button Refresh. We will talk about it later. To add a new document type to the calendar, we need to create one or several calendar rules. Rules define which other objects should create events, uh, which fields of that object should be used and shown, and whether any filtering should take place. By setting a rule, we give the instructions to the module, which fields to use to get the information we need. You define by your own what to consider a joint event title, start or stop date, who are target attendees, and so on. Have even the same document twice on the same calendar, just with a different start date. So let's create a rule for purchase orders. For that, open the events app and click configuration rules. Then click create, introduce the rule title, as a model, choose Purchase Orders and the name field is filled automatically, but you can change it if you want. As a start date field, for example, use Created On. It defines when an event starts. As an attendees field, choose Responsible User. It defines who are the event participants. Optionally add a stop date field. It defines when an event is shown as finished on the calendar. For example, expected arrival. Optionally, you can tick the option always whole day. So all generated events created with the rule will last the whole day, disregarding whether start or stop date are defined with hours and minutes. Such an event will be shown at a special place on a calendar. Optionally, choose a description field. It shows notes that the event has if there are any. For example, let's choose terms and conditions. As a contact link, you can use the vendor here. It defines a specific partner that is linked to the event. Optionally, set the company field which defines to what company the object relates to. If you leave the field empty, then the module will not be able to distinguish the objects and will show the events related to all companies, even if the calendar relates to a particular company. You can also add a filter to add only particular purchase orders. For example, purchase orders in the status purchase orders or RFQ sent. For that, click on the button Add Filter, then choose the option Status equals Purchase Order. You can also add a complex rule. For that, click on the plus button and introduce another filter. For example, Status equals RFQ Send. Then choose if the record should match all or any of the filters and click Save manually. Now we need to add our rule to the calendar. For that, go to Configuration, Calendars, open our calendar, and you can add rules in the tab Rules. For that, click Add a line and choose our rule Purchase Orders, then click Select. Optional, you can click Save manually. To delete a rule from the calendar, just click on the cross it. And here is the result.
users may access joint calendar through the interface events menu. Each super calendar has its own SysTray button. Thus, you can choose among the created calendars which one to show. As a user clicks on a super calendar menu, he or she sees joint events on a monthly timetable. It is possible to switch between daily, weekly, yearly, and monthly view. On the right side of the interface, you will see a smaller calendar. Click on any day to show it. Use the side arrows to move to the previous or to the next month. Here you can also filter the events by a joint rule, so by an actual ODU model, for example, to show only opportunities or activities. Each of them is marked by color. Manually created joint events not linked to any ODU object would be available under the filter undefined, without color. To create the joint event manually, just click on any day and introduce the event's name then click Create. Here it is. The undefined event will be available for the same calendar from which it was created. Also, above the filtering models, you can apply search by actual joint event attendees. For instance, if you wish to see only your own documents or documents of a particular person. If required, apply the filter Everybody's Calendar to see everybody's calendar at once, or add a new attendee by clicking on the field Add Attendees and choosing a person from the list. You can also start typing the person's name. It's only up to you what attendees to keep. You can delete the ones that you don't need by clicking on the cross by the person. However, you can't delete the default one Everybody's Calendar. Use Auto Standard Omnibox in the top right corner to search by subject, description, contact or company. To search, just start typing the word and then choose the search option. You can access the main information of an event right from the events app. Simply click on an event in the calendar to see its details. Click on the Edit button to change the starting or ending date and time contact and configure an alarm for this particular event. Joint events and their source documents are interrelated. Update the former and the latter will be changed according to the system schedule. Changes in the event card will lead to changes in the source document immediately. However, the read-only and computed fields cannot be changed, so if you try to change such fields, then changes will be reverted with the next scheduled job. If you click on the parent object, then you will be redirected to the source document. You can also delete an event by clicking the button Delete. That will not result in a deletion of the source document. Joint events can be seen differently by various users, depending on their access rights. There is no need to configure any additional roles to see the events menu. If a person has an access to one of the calendars, then the events menu will be visible for this user, and the corresponding calendar's title will be added to the events sys tray. If a user has no access to see a particular calendar, then it will not be visible. Keep in mind that if there are some calendars, but the user has no access to any of them, then the events menu will be hidden for this user. Access to the calendar doesn't guarantee that a person will see all the events, which it includes. Users may observe only the events to which related objects they have access rights. Thus, if a user has the rights to the object and the calendar, then he or she can access the linked joint event. Sometimes there may be some undefined objects. An undefined object is an object which was created right from the calendar. It has no parent object and it isn't regulated by a rule. 
you can see all undefined events by putting a tick by the line undefined. All people who have the access to see the calendar may create and see its undefined events. The right to create and edit joint calendars and rules belongs to the system administrators. The module works not in real time. The events in the calendar are updated regularly, according to the system schedule. It is possible to set any update frequency. However, it isn't recommended to make it more often than once in 5 minutes. In case you have a really huge number of objects, it is better to do the update even less often, so Odo had enough time to process the events list. If necessary, set calendar limits or add filters in the rules to create only matching to the conditions events. To change the frequency of merged calendar refreshing, turn on the debug mode. Go to technical settings, automation, scheduled actions. Find the job refresh joint events. To change the frequency of super calendars updates or find the job notify about joint event to change the frequency of email alarms checks you can also launch the events update manually from the user's calendar interface by clicking the button refresh and from the calendar settings by clicking the button generate events after the update, don't forget to hardly reload the browser page by clicking Ctrl-Shift-R. Joint Calendar Gantt is an optional add-on that introduces the Gantt view for events. The add-on requires the enterprise license of Odoo. In this way, you can have a single Super Gantt view for various Odoo documents, tasks, time-offs, manufacturing orders, quotations, and so on. With the help of the add-on, you will be able to manage the events in a comfortable manner, reassign responsible users, drag and drop those to change periods, and so on. To that goal, just check the box Gantt view on the shared calendar settings. The app would automatically extend the target super calendar action after you save the changes. As you open the events menu and choose the calendar, in the top right corner above the calendar, you will find three buttons to switch between the events views. Click on the second button to switch to the Gantt view. From the Gantt view, by default, you see the attendees on the vertical scale and the dates, days or time on the horizontal scale. You can select various searching, filtering and grouping parameters to limit the number of shown events. For example, to show only events related to the contact Azure interior. Apply various grouping options to change or create different hierarchies. For that, just click on the options one by one. To reset grouping, just click on the cross by eating the search bar. Instantly access information about any event by hovering over it. To view the event, just click on it in the calendar. There you will be able to see the details of the event, change its start and ending date, add remove alarms, and so on. To add an undefined event, click on the plus icon. I hope this video will be useful for you. Feel free to contact us to try the module in the demo instance. See you in the next videos.